boys and girls and happy Sabbath. I am so excited to be here with you for another Nature Nugget. I hope you guys had a wonderful week and enjoyed all the sunshine. So let's jump right in and let's start talking about this week's Nature Nugget animal, shall we? Let's review the clues. Clue number one, it can grow up to nine inches long. And clue number two, they're named after a yellow fruit. Hmm, I thought this one was a little tricky. Did you guys guess a banana slug? Well, this week's Nature Nugget Animal is a banana slug. So let's start learning more about this fun yellow slug. The banana slug is named for its resemblance to a ripe or overripe in the case of a, the spotted individual banana. It's one of the slowest creatures on earth, moving at a maximum speed of six and a half inches per minute. The slug is native to the dense, moist forest floors of the Pacific Northwest, ranging from Central California to Alaska. One subspecies, the Pacific banana slug, can grow up to nine inches long, making it the second largest slug in the world. The banana slug is often bright yellow, though it can be brown, white, and green. Like all slugs, Banana slugs use four tentacles to sense their environment. A pair of upper tentacles protruding from the top of their heads are optical. Tiny black dots, or eyes, at the ends of the tentacles detect light and movement. A pair of smaller, lower tentacles protruding straight out in front of their face are able to feel and smell. If a banana slug loses a tentacle to a predator or an accident, it's able to grow it back. The banana slug has a single lung, which it has an external breathing pore, and it eats with its radula, a tongue-like body part that's covered in rows of microscopic teeth. Like all slugs and snails whose bodies are made of mostly water, banana slugs must stay moist to stay alive. To avoid di dehydration, slugs and, sn and snails secrete a layer of mucus or slime which covers their bodies. While snails have shells to help protect their skin from drying out, slugs must find other ways to retain their moisture. In dry condition, slugs insulate themselves in dirt and leaves until their environment becomes moist again, typically venturing out to eat at night. The slime also helps banana slugs move. This simultaneously keeps predators away. The creatures move by expanding and contracting their single foot, and the slime provides a slippery surf surface to glide on. The trail of slime can often imperil or slow down attackers such as the Pacific giant salamanders and the northwestern garter snakes, which are the common banana slug predators. When ingested, the slime can make attackers' tongues go numb. Often to neutralize the mucus, predators will roll banana slugs in soil before eating them. To make slime, snails and slugs produce special tiny grains called mucins, which link together. By studying the versatile and unique properties of slug slime, scientists have produced several new medical glues, including an adhesive that can bond to moving tissue. Banana slugs are decomposers and play an important role in the ecosystem. They eat dead organic matter, including fallen leaves and plants, mushrooms, spores, and moss, and then they recycle their food into nutrient-dense waste, which fertilizes healthy soil. Well, boys and girls, I hope you had just as much fun as I did learning about the banana slugs. And remember, like the beautiful book Steps to Christ talks about, we can learn so much more about Jesus in nature. The trees, the flowers, the passing clouds, even the falling rain, all of it speaks to our heart and invites us to become acquainted with Jesus who made them all 
including the slimy banana slug. All right, boys and girls, here are your clues for next week's nature nugget animal. Clue number one, they can eat up to 83 pounds of bamboo. And clue number two, they are so lazy. All right, those are your clues for next week's Nature Nugget Animal. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I can't wait to join you again next week for another Nature Nugget. Bye!